Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. This time we're going back into C-theories. I've been talking about a lot of duality, and a lot of C-theories have duality in itself. So we're going to go into this age's uh, intro versions of C-theories. So when I got into C-theories... A while back, Endgame was the biggest thing, so you can search Endgame documentary, etc., etc., if you want to know about that. Um, probably mentioning it might get me shadowed, so I'm not even going to talk about it. And also, I'm kind of talk like a little bit tired of talking about regular stuff. Doesn't seem like people want hope, anyways, at this time. It's summer, a lot of good news is out there, so um, all of that motivational push and even negative uh motivational push i'm going to keep that back in season one and get back into c theories because number one c theories are fun number two dissecting them are is also pretty fun as well as just seeing how people get into this tunnel is great so we're going to talk about the mandela effect and before i talk about the mandela effect I'm going to talk about string theory. So a lot of you guys have heard that every action has an equal and negative consequence, right? So let's say you skip school or skip work. There is a timeline where you actually went to work and there's a timeline where you choose not to go to work. And then that one action springs into different realities. So it's just like um, if you dated that one person instead of another person, how different your life is. Like uh, there's someone that I know who had like a childhood sweetheart, but they didn't give that person a chance. And instead of going steady with that person, they decided to travel abroad. And in that time that they travel abroad, that person became like a millionaire just going through his motions and the loss of her and just focusing on himself so if she stayed with him maybe he wouldn't have been as successful but probably still successful but she blew him off and you know she's in her timeline which is the current timeline right now so string theory has that whole effect and if you go even deeper into religion or anything else that's what like the concept of god is where God could see every action and action you don't take and action you do take. So that's where faith comes. And that's why people who are believers, it's that God's love is infinite because he could see every movement that you can make until it's the point of no return. And that's being like omnipotent, but that's for another episode. But basically, now that you kind of understand string theory we could jump into the Mandela effect. So the Mandela effect is based off uh, Nelson Mandela, who was a freedom fighter in South Africa during uh, the time of, I'll just use separation because I don't know if the word is uh, illegal on these platforms. But basically, there was a lot of injustice due to color. And he was fighting for his rights. He got put into jail. And he got out of jail and eventually became president of South Africa. A lot of things changed. But apparently that's only in our timeline because there's a mass amount of people who remember him dying in jail. Right? In this timeline, if you believe in different timelines, you just think these people are crazy or people are remembering the past wrong because there's even scientific Um, studies that show that sometimes we don't remember the past correctly and also if you inject certain things about someone's past they might falsely remember it right so it's kind of like altering someone's memory but a lot of people claim that he died and in this timeline apparently his wife died in the jail I have to go back to it I haven't looked into the effect in a long time but through this circumstance there's a lot of different things that are considered uh a mandela effect so a big thing is like the bernstein bears right so 
Um, there's Bernstein Bears. Some people remember as Bernstein Bears. Um, some people remember 9-11 actually happening before 9-11, right? And this is what I'm talking about where uh, history gets confused, but at the same time, you know, it might be true and we're merged into a different timeline because if you do know about the attacks, there was a attempted attack in 93 or 92, but apparently there's people who remember that it actually happened at that time and then this was just an exhalation or people are remembering wrong. And with the Bears comic, uh, people were trying to disprove it being Mandela because there's obviously different spelling and uh, just international copies have a different like you say words different you spell words different so that was the explanation but there's so many different um, examples of the Mandela effect where it's a very believable theory because if you just search it up on any search engine you're going to see different examples and people discussing about it because it is a big big topic like i have a close friend i've known them for maybe yeah like 12 years right so it's three high schools i've known them three high schools and i was talking to them about this and they were like yeah i 100 percent remember reading that he died in jail there's i don't i don't know what's going on and then we were talking about like timeline and then we we're talking about certain things that happened and she swears to this day that certain things happen completely different. And we're around the same age, so it's hard to be like, no, there's no possible way. And we lived in the same city, in the same country, you know. When you're arguing with someone who's from somewhere else, obviously it makes a little bit sense. But if someone's your next door neighbor or lives in your backyard, and by backyard I mean not too far away from you, or someone who lives in another city, there's slight differences, but it's never that dramatically different. So if you want to dig into a fun sea theory, I'd suggest the Mandela effect. Um, it's a little bit of a rabbit hole. It's like it's like Dorothy getting your shoes, just getting your feet soaked in. But it's a fun theory to check out and hopefully you guys have fun with that. What do you think? What's something that you remember happen one way and other people or even like a majority of people say that no it definitely happened this other way you're crazy <laughs> who knows but anyways this is the intro back into sea theories i'll probably have something a little bit juicier next time take care have a nice night day wherever you are and drop a comment later